and uh, we're here to discuss a missing person case. And uh, it's uh, certainly sad that we're here uh, in twice in as many weeks, basically, to discuss a case that uh, right now we just don't have any leads on, and it is appearing to be suspicious in nature. So we're asking for the public's help as we go through this case. We really need the public to help us uh, pass along some tips so that we can hopefully find these two young ladies um, and hopefully find them in good health. Uh, so the missing persons right now, uh, Joanna Antoinette Clark, she's 33 years old, and her daughter, Sharice Nicole Clark, who's 15 year old, years old. Uh, they're both missing. They both were last seen in the 2300 block of Round Road, which is in the Cherry Hill community of Baltimore, South Baltimore, uh, on February 4th. And what's, again, a bit odd for us is they're both missing uh, at separate times at this point. On Friday uh, the 4th, we believe Sharice was last seen at around 3 p.m., and we believe Joanna was last seen around 11.15 p.m. Um, Joanna has seven children total. Uh, Sharice is the oldest. Her other six children were left with a caregiver at the time, and those six children are between the ages of two and ten years old. This is something unusual that's never happened before. Uh, she's never left her children for an extended period of time. Uh, neither one has ever gone missing for an extended period of time. And this has certainly raised our antennas and raised our suspicions as well. We're dealing with a situation where um, where both of them had pretty active lives. The uh, daughter in particular was pretty active on social media. All of the communication ceases on the 4th of February, which again is of concern for us and our investigators. Um, our investigation began around February 7th when family and friends actually reported her missing. And this is not uncommon. I know some people wonder why it takes a bit of time before people call in. But that's not uncommon. We saw that in the Tanjay Chadwick case, uh, where sometimes people do their own searches before they contact the police. So once the police got involved, we put out flyers in the community of Cherry Hill. We posted the information on social media and put out media releases in reference to it. Again, canvassed that general area of uh, Cherry Hill. Uh, Ms. Clark, Joanna Clark, was, uh, is an employee at Getz Candy Factory over in East Baltimore, and uh, her daughter, Sharice, is a student at Carter G. Woodson Elementary Middle School. Um, the bottom line here is that we need tips. We need information from the public, and we need any friends or confidants of either of these two young ladies to share that information with us. If there is anything that they might have told you in the past that you thought was of concern, now we're telling you that it is of concern, and we need that information uh, brought forward. Uh, so you can reach us in several different manners, but before I get there, just a couple of different pictures of Joanna. Um, these are most recent pictures that we have of her. And that's a picture of uh, her daughter, Sharice. Some uh, recent pictures of her as well. And we'll go back through these. 